Um, well, speaking of, uh, I know you mentioned Ali before, you kind of explain to people how you can't be in Ali domain. Kind of story yeah, the weird little uh, rotation of, I don't know, just uh, all of us knowing each other. Was, I had known Phil, I knew Phil before Ollie knew Phil, and I was taking a lesson from Ollie. Right. I wanted to try out for all their names, but I, would, I went to Phil's house and he was showing me the guitar parts. So I was just like, out of my league. I was like, this is too hard. And uh, you know, I was like, you should have Ollie come down, my teacher, is a metal guy, you know, he can play this stuff. He's awesome. So. Have him come down, and they had him come down. He was with the band instantly. They were like, Yeah, you're, you're obviously good enough. So, and then they did one tour that we were talking about earlier. The only tour that I didn't do was the band. They did one tour with the other guitar player, which is the band at the time, it didn't work out. So, you know, my personality is a stunt, artistic difference in my life. Right? <laughs> Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Or just people not liking each other. Right, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I think that he was gone. That, after, that was a couple of years. Like by that time, a couple of years had passed. I had been taking lots of Bali for a couple of years. So. And I'd been hanging out with Phil, just whenever we had a show, a show club, whatever. He was just like, you know, he, he can play the stuff now. So, I'm on drug band, drug band. I'm like, okay, cool. And my local band just taking a crap at that exact time. So I was just like, yeah, let's go ahead. And then I was just, it was like, go on tour instantly. <laughs> That's yeah, yeah. Yeah. Check. All my friends were like, oh, congratulations, you're going to be a rock star. And it was like, then it was like six, six years of touring in a conversion <laughs> band. <laughs> I come back and tour, and I was like, what's up, rock star? I'm like, yeah. you, don't, you don't know. You don't know. <laughs> There's nothing rock star about it. You should come and check it out. <laughs> in terms of, like, there are the harsh realities of touring, but what, is, uh, what are tours that you've been on in the past that, like, really made it work? Like what were your favorite tours? Like the one we just uh, finished, well, like we're doing the headlining, the headliner start to finish the play, right. but the one we finished uh, four weeks ago, prior to, or five weeks ago, with honor, it was us, honor, and Asley dying. I was going to say, and yeah. Carnifex, and uh, That's a sick it, was, uh, it was the coolest group of people we've ever been like on tour. It was unbelievable. Right. I'd never like, it went by so fast. It was like, like, like we were <laughs> you got done like, like yeah, we were bummed it was done. It was just like we toured together so many times with As We Die. And I I played guitar and film in front of before. And we and we've toured together a number of times. So it was just it was all you just got into the room on the first day. And we were each other and it was just it was done. It was a night, it was fun. People were going out there, was having a blast. So it was down every evening. One of those easy, easy tours. Every show was incredible. Every kid was like, Oh, it's a dream come true. And these three bands gather and I Sounds an extreme way to put it, but kids, I guess kids were really pumped about the accommodation fans. We were wishing we could have three months across all of the kids, all of the best, but more like a secondary market. Hopefully, we can get some kind of majors. Sure, sure, sure. Um, in terms of like, in terms of how, how did you originally get into the metal community? You even mentioned that you were into Skid Row. There's yeah. sort of a disconnect between that style of music and the stuff that you guys play. Obviously, what was it that kicked you into beer in terms of like really heavy shit? Like, I know from like for me it was um, like Poison the Wild early on, really got me into it, and then from then on it was like Converge and then all of a sudden Black Metal. Like, what what was it? What was it for you? Uh, my friend Jay, and I graduated with this kid Jay at home, and he was the drummer at my my local band for Legendary. In high school, like, you know, you know, show me the I really didn't like it. Show me the CDs. I was all screaming at the time. I just I didn't adapt. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. It's right. Yeah. Yeah. Show me like VOD. Okay. Yeah. yeah. These hardcore yeah. movies. Yeah. Yeah. And the first show I ever went to, I went with Andrew. Like, oh, I see the VOD. I came down. A bunch of hardcore movies. Boston scene. And I went to the show, man. I was screaming. I can't stand this. And because of like hardcore wasn't my thing. Never had been my thing. It still isn't my thing. People blow. People get all, you know, they get a boner for all those types of bands and just come out and It's just not my thing. It's cool. I know I've toured with Tom and our friends, the nicest people in the world. He's like, oh, this is a huge guy. That's it. But uh, I ate it. I, I finally knew I was like, uh, somehow I got dragged to another show. I ended up seeing the Apple show. Okay. Yeah, I was just like, that was just Adam and Joel and Phil Switch. Then like I saw like, I saw like this combination of like, heavy and like I saw like tar so and then the screen kind of got away and it was like alright. But it's 
was more I, was, I found out more I was like yeah, well, I like to say, there was, there was a tiny, tiny bits of hardware stuff in the beginning. I really like it. Yeah, still on tape. I always on tape. It was just one of those bands that was like, but I just wanted to They had a crossover thing that sort of appeals to the people from both sides of the spectrum. Once I figured out the heavy stuff required some thought. Right. I was like, all right, this could happen. I just started going to a ton of shows in that film, and everybody all like Springfield scene, which ended up being a big all fans came from Western Mass. Just everything was fell into place eventually. It took you know four or five years and it was there. It was just a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun at the time. Every every Sunday at the bar, like in that bar was a show. It didn't matter who it was, everyone was there. It's not like that. Well, it sucks, but <laughs> plus we're all old now. Right, I was gonna say we're all crusty yeah. old man. Yeah. Touring and gone, so you know, like local scene right here. Sure. It's not so <laughs> I absolutely understand. Alright, well we'll let you go after this, but the viewers are dying to know. Brett Fart is in town. It's not a jazz game for the bears. I was eating at the bar watching that game with a poor one. You know what? The viewers are dying to know what is your and the rest of the band's opinion on this dick picks. <laughs> on his dick picks, people need to know. What, is it wrong? Is it? Is he just a playboy? No, it's not right. Dude, if I was a professional, <laughs> I'd do it too. <laughs> just being in like a moderately successful band, you can get away, <laughs> with, you can get away with some shit. Like, if I was a professional athlete, those dudes, because there's not even any real rock stars anymore. Not the real. The days really. of the days of Slash and Tom Brady yeah. and Nicky Six and all those guys, like the real rock stars. Those days are way over, man. Like even the King Machine fans aren't real rock stars. They're just bad. That's the old fucking So true. Yeah. That's a professional. It's so true. Yeah. Professional athletes are the real rock stars now, man. Not very. No, you're absolutely right. The last thing I would do is I thought I was a professional. Take a picture of me. Well, no, no, not that. I would be getting married. Oh, right? <laughs> right, right, and the shit that goes on in the yeah. behind the scenes. Right? <laughs> Tiger Woods making a million them. If you're number one golf, listen, if you're number one in the world at anything, yeah. you should not get married because chicks are going to want to bang you. You can be the number one Halo player. <laughs> Dude, I'm sure that he gets chicks like whoever he is. Yeah. Oh, Phil knows. Phil knows. I was going to bet. He knows him. I heard there's like video game groupies and stuff. It's just like, they were like Pikachu costumes and like stalkers or something. If you're an athlete, you don't get married. I guess you don't want to violate the league's conduct policy. Yeah, I was going to say. I feel it's all right. It sucks. But other than that, they just dick with Phil in a picture of Phil. By accident. By accident. He didn't do it. He wasn't deliberate. I didn't have a good day. In the end, it's all about the dick. I'm very far from depressing this year. Yes. Absolutely. 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 I'm sure Chicago is a gentleman. We're stoked, man. Fair enough. I had to pay my, for my lunch with my Patriots debit card today. I was wondering if somebody was going to do this. I was very surprised. Not so much surprised. Yeah, I mean, it's more like we hate the Colts. If, if, if there's an AFC team that people are here, it's the Colts. That's who we hate, too. Yeah, and, and so there, go. there we go. I paid in Indianapolis one day. I paid for the car. I paid for the car. I paid for the car. Ooh. <laughs> I was like, sorry, I forgot I was an Indian actress, man, I should have cash. <laughs> <laughs> Took it out of the, the account. All right, man, well, thank you for everything. Good luck with the show tonight, with the rest of the tour and everything. And uh, it's Mike, all that remains here in Metallotopia, and we will see you guys later.